In this video, I'm gonna show you a secret skincare routine for men that is extremely simple and only takes a few minutes a day. It's based on Brian Johnson's skincare routine who spends $2 million a year trying to reverse his speed of aging. This is what he looked like before and this is what he looked like now. To be honest, I can't be asked to watch video after video about skincare routine. All I wanna know is, does it work? And is it simple? And in today's video, I'm going to be answering those two questions. So why is skincare so important? Well, you only get it once. The two main aspects to skincare, the first is protecting your skin from the sun and the second is moisturizing. I'm gonna take it to the next level. I'm gonna go one layer deeper than that. With sun protection being the main aspect of protecting your skin, look at how important this is. This is a picture of a guy who spent 28 years truck driving with one side of his face exposed to the sun and the other side not exposed to the sun. You can just see the difference in terms of the damage that it had on his face. So that should be a good emphasis on why you should start looking after your skin as early as possible. Obviously you wanna be looking after your skin for health reasons like skin cancer. So what do you need and where can you buy these products? I'm gonna go over the three things and then I'm gonna go over two more products like I said that are gonna take your skincare to the next level. Three products, a cleanser, a moisturizer, and sunscreen. So here we have Cetaphil, which is what I use. Um, it's a great product. It doesn't rip all the oil off your skin. What you want is a cleanser or a face wash that actually hydrates your skin as well. What I've noticed is Cetaphil is good, or you could use CeraVe. Find anything that works for you that also hydrates your skin and doesn't leave it extremely, extremely dry. If you haven't got very oily skin, you don't want a very harsh skin cleanser. You just want something that washes away the dirt before you put on moisturizer or sun cream. Probably the most important part of skincare is your sun cream. And this protects your skin from photo aging and also the sun mutating the DNA on your skin. Photo aging is where the sun mutates the DNA on the skin and when that mutation gets out of control, that leads to skin cancer. Photo aging, you don't even have to burn your skin for photo aging to take place. So that's why you wanna be using a sun cream before that even starts. You get different SPFs. Um, with the type of sun cream that you use, you wanna be using a broad spectrum UVA and UVB. And when it comes to SPF, you wanna be using a high SPF nothing lower than 30 and the reason for this is because most of the time you only get about 50 to 60 percent of the spf protection so you want to be going higher rather than lower just make sure that when you do you get a thin ish texture you don't want to be walking around like a vampire because a lot of the high spfs have a very thick texture and they cake on your face which is obviously not pleasant Next is the moisturizer. You wanna be keeping your skin as healthy as possible because essentially that's the barrier that interfaces with the world. You wanna be keeping it healthy, you wanna be keeping it hydrated. So find a good moisturizer. I use CeraVe. CeraVe has a morning, an AM and a PM version of the cream. The AM has moisturizer and sunscreen for the morning and the PM is just a moisturizing cream. And any good moisturizer is essentially bare bones, just gonna replace a lot of the healthy fats and proteins to keep your skin as healthy as possible. Doing those three things, cleansing, moisturizing, and putting on sunscreen will get you 80% of the results. But like I said, I wanna take this one step further. And this is where we get onto the two next products, which are serums and also retinols or retino retinoids. So with the serum, you can get a broad spectrum serum, which will be vitamin C, E, and ferulic acid. What it does is that when it's mixed with sunscreen, it can protect you from free radicals. It also just adds an extra layer of protection when it comes to photo aging. It hydrates your skin incredibly well, and apparently the vitamin C also brightens the skin. Now we get onto the final factor, which is a little bit rogue, and this is the retinoid or the retinols, which are part of the retinoid family. A couple of decades ago, scientists believed that retinoids only helped you when it came to acne. However, what they found is that it actually has many anti-aging effects, and that's why you see a lot of anti-aging creams and serums, they'll have retinols in them. 
and what retinoids do in the skin is that they promote collagen production, lessens uneven pigmentation and also helps our skin regenerate. But there's so many different retinoids and retinols, which one do you even use? So retinols are a much weaker version of retinoids. You can get retinols in most anti-aging products, you buy them over the counter, or a popular one that is often used is different gel. If you take it a step further and go to the stronger concentrations, now we're into the retinoids, and this you actually need a prescription for. The most common form of retinoids is tretinoin, and comes in a few different concentrations, from 0.025% all the way up to 0.1%. What you do is you use that every single other day at night. We'll get into the routine in just a minute and how you do that. But like I said, start off every other day or twice a week with a lower concentration. And as you build up more resistance, you can up the concentration and use it more frequently. Finally, what is the routine? So in the morning, use the cleanser that you've bought. And then after you've dried your face, use the serum, let that dry for a few minutes and then lather on your moisturizer and sun cream or just the moisturizer mixed with the sun cream. Sun cream only lasts a certain amount of time so if you're doing a lot of sport or if you're swimming you're gonna have to reapply it throughout the day just to make sure that you don't get burnt. And then in the evening what you do same thing start off washing the face cleansing it and then you put on your tretinoin or your retinol using just a small amount like I said every single other day or only twice a week and you build it up in the concentrations and also the frequency. And then after the tretinoin is dried, after you've applied that, then you put on your moisturizer and you go to sleep. And that is it. Super simple, only takes a few minutes a day. And if you start at a young age, you can prevent massive amounts of skin damage and look younger for a much longer period of time. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Subscribe and I'll see you next week. Peace.